Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a WTM 4 plus 0 radio configuration. The first step is to take your antenna and assemble the bracket and mount it onto your pipe. Once you've done that, we're going to start assembling the waveguide assemblies, the coupler, and then eventually we'll put the radios onto the system. The first step is to take the O-ring and the silicone grease which comes with the antenna and we're going to put a little bit of silicone grease on those O-ring. Now I've already done that on this one so we're not going to duplicate it. Once the silicone is on there, there's a slot on the waveguide assembly here. We're going to make sure this O-ring goes and it seats itself all the way in that slot. The next step is to take our medium sized O-ring and put some silicone grease on here, which I've already done, and we're going to put this on the inner slot in our waveguide assembly here. So make sure that that goes in, in that groove all the way around. It's completely seated in there. And we're going to take our assembly and we're going to mount this directly on to the antenna. You'll notice there's a alignment pin. Make sure that's facing straight up and we'll push this onto the assembly. And that should hold itself into place. The next step is to mount the antenna mounting plate onto the back of the antenna assembly. Then we'll put four bolts in to hold it in place. Once you've got all four bolts finger tight, you want to make sure that your mounting bracket is uh, aligned perfectly vertical. So we've got a vertical setting here. Just make sure it's squared up with the antenna and everything. Then we're going to tighten all four bolts down. The next thing we're going to talk about is the dual mount OMT adapter. This is what combines both radios onto the single antenna. So what we do is we mount our radios on either side of this, but before we do that, there's a couple steps we need to pay attention to. One is make sure you remove the protective tape that's over the waveguide ports. There's one for each radio on each side, plus the interface for the antenna. Make sure you remove that tape before you uh, assemble this to the antenna or put the radios on either side. The next thing we want to look for is labeled in here uh, H and a V for horizontal and vertical. Now this is stamped into the metal. It's a little bit hard to see. It's painted white. But you want to make sure you pay attention to the H and the V so that you mount the appropriate radio on either side of the dual mount. Once that's done, making sure that the letter V is facing upright, we're going to mount this onto the actual antenna. So the next step is to mount our radios onto either side. Here's the V for the vertical side. And here is the H that you can see stamped into the metal for the horizontal. Okay, I've mounted one radio onto our dual mount adapter. Next, I'll show you how to mount the second radio. You're going to take the O-ring, which came with the OMT adapter, and a little bit of silicone. Again, put it on the O-ring. Make sure it's evenly coated all the way around. And then we're going to put this O-ring into the slot right around here. Make sure it's firmly seated. Then we'll take our radio and mount it on top. Once the radio is on top of the OMT adapter, sitting on the o-ring you just want to take your allen wrench and tighten down all four corners as we're tightening these make sure they're only finger tight we do not want these all the way tightened down yet that'll be a part of the final assembly the next step is to take the two radios which are on the omt assembly and mount it to the back of the antenna you're going to need a helper for this so get someone that'll help you and hold this while we take our bolts and put them in. As you put your bolts in, you want to make sure again they're just finger tight until all four bolts have been screwed in. Once you have the radios mounted to the antenna, now you want to go ahead and take your Allen wrench and we're going to tighten all the bolts all on the radios and the dual mount that's connected to the antenna. So we're going to go ahead and secure and tighten all of those down. And that completes the installation of our WTM 4 plus 0 XPIC configuration. And we mounted the radios onto the dual mount OMT adapter. The OMT adapter is mounted to the back of the antenna 
the antennas mounted outdoor are masked. 